discipline is very, very important if you're going to win a national championship consistently. People, there's people that win one. You can't you can be lucky just to win one, but when you win back to back to back, that's not luck. That's a program that's properly put together and has discipline and character. I like Chris and, and his staff. He's got a great staff, and I think that he has a, a great future here. He's on the right track already. He has uh, some great athletes, and he's been second in the national championship, won several conference titles, and I hope he's, uh, he, in the next year or two he'll, he'll fall right into the same track I was on and, and wins, win a lot of national championships for Arkansas. I can't take even close to the credit that's due to Coach McDonald and the past coaches that were here and the past athletes. Just as we hope, you know, our seniors here left a legacy for our young kids, those, uh, those coaches and uh, those former athletes really set the bar high. I hope they're proud of what we're, get, we're getting accomplished. You know, obviously our goal is to win national championships and we're knocking on the door, but we're certainly over the last three or four years when it comes to winning the SEC championship, if you do that, you're a pretty good program. You're one of the best, if not the best. So the uh, bar is high, and we're, we're trying to negotiate it. I think we have the best track team in the country, and there's no question about it. Getting ready to get the national championship is a great thing in my mind right now. Hey, Coach, what do you think? And the message is not in my house. The Arkansas 4x4 Edward Relay of Marek Nitt, Akeem Gauntlet, Ben Skidmore, and Neil Brady won the first ever NCAA title for the Razorbacks in that event. They did this by posting the second best time in NCAA history. Really a great advantage auto running on this 200 meter perfectly banked track inside this facility. Considered again, one of the fastest in the world. And a fair start in this college men's 4x4. I can see Forte thinking, okay, when is he going to come back to me so I can make the move? The answer is, he's not really giving any of this lead back. Look, the lead is extending now. Look at this lead by Arkansas. Listen to that whole crowd. The Razorbacks of Arkansas in the college men's 4x4 turn the corner for home. And the message is, not in my house. And that's a very good time, too. 30372. They have to be thrilled about that performance in their home building. Kevin Lazarus and Gunnar Nixon became one of the most prolific decathlon duos in NCAA history. Lazarus set a new school record of 7,955 points in the decathlon, and Nixon set a school, American, and world junior record of 6,022 points in the indoor heptathlon. Gunnar would later go on to break Kevin's American junior record in the decathlon while winning the world junior championships in Barcelona. Arkansas continued their SEC decathlon dominance, finishing 1, 2, 3, 6, with senior Terry Prentice having a huge personal best to finish runner-up and join his two teammates at the NCAA Championships. The Arkansas freshman made history by winning the Hogs' first ever NCAA title in the pole vault and was also the first freshman to win a pole vault title since 1984. This went along with his SEC indoor and outdoor pole vault titles. Outdoors, he jumped 18 feet 9 and a quarter inches to set a new Arkansas SEC and American Junior record, besting the mark of Lawrence Johnson from 1996. For his accomplishments, Irwin was named the South Central Regional Athlete of the Year and the SEC Indoor Field Athlete of the Year. His third trial at 
18, 9, and 4. Terry Tucker on the opening leg. Terrell Melvis, Terry Pinson, and Michael Williams. That's the Olympic Day standard and the American Junior record. Andrew, way to go. Wow. Where are we going? Good job, man. I don't know. Good job. Sweet. The junior from Newport, Arkansas won the SEC Commissioner's Cup that recognizes the highest point scorer at the SEC Championships. He did this by winning the 400 hurdles and finishing third in the 110 high hurdles and also led off the victorious 4 by 100 meter relay. Caleb also made his presence felt on the national scene, garnering two All-America honors during the 2012 campaign. Distant specialist Eric Fernandez and Patrick Rono collected a variety of hardware during the 2012 season. Fernandez was tabbed the SEC Cross Country Runner of the Year after leading a 1-2 finish with Duncan Phillips at the SEC Championships. And Rono was named the SEC Freshman of the Year after winning the Indoor Mile and anchoring the victorious Distance Medley Relay. Rono helped Arkansas to a 1-2-3 finish in the outdoor 1500. Duncan Phillips was the winner, Rono finished second, and Anthony Lentio finished third. Rono also helped lead the Razorbacks with a fourth place finish in the outdoor 800 that led to 22 points for the Razorbacks following a 2-3-4-7-8 finish led by Leo Momo as the SEC runner-up. What the Arkansas track and field program has done over the years is unprecedented, not only in our sport, but in all of intercollegiate athletics. Our athletes' accomplishments in 2012 continue the tradition that Coach McDonald established at the University of Arkansas, and we are proud of the goals that we've achieved. Coach McDonald has always said that the number one goal is to always win the SEC championship, and if you do that, the national championships will follow. We nearly proved that theory right in 2012 after finishing runner-up at the Indoor National Championships and earning three top 10 national finishes overall. But there is more work to be done. Our goal in 2013 is to win that national championship.